Hello air signs, welcome into your goddess reading, okay? The oracle card I pulled for you guys is Ananda Mai Ma, the joy permeated mother. Now she almost got accused of being crazy when she was younger, okay? Because she understood the blissful state we can be in when we know our true self, we know that awareness that exists beyond this timeline and any other timeline, okay? So she had connection to her true self, to her higher self. Now, the uh, the phrase on the card is, I am my own guru. I know the self that never changes. So this is about really knowing in your infinity and the bliss that can come when we act from that place of knowing, of knowing that we're infinite, powerful beings, that we created this reality with our minds because we had infinity and why not create a world that we can go into to see how long it'll take us to remember our true self. You may want to Google her and uh, find out more about her. I get such a lovely, blissful, divine energy from this beautiful goddess. I mean, she's just, I'm getting tingles while I say this. She's just so radiant and so loving. It's such a powerful energy. All right. Spirit guides, angels, higher self, please join me for messages for our air sign goddesses. What do our air sign goddesses need to know? Messages, please, spirit. Six of swords. Moving on to karma, more blissful places. Okay, leaving. I feel like some of you have dealt with someone who told a lot of lies because we've got six knives pointing downwards representing deceit, okay? And I feel like you're walking all over that. I feel like you're really... Uh, flowing out of someone's timeline and realizing you've got more blissful, more holy, more divine, more gracious places to be. That's how it feels to me, flowing out like a beautiful cloud. These these faces are calling out to me. You see these these three faces here? It's almost like these people are already memories to you, even though they're still talking or they're still, you know, kicking up a fuss in their little worlds. I feel like you're just gracefully exiting and you couldn't care less. I really feel like that's the energy coming through. Or maybe this is what spirit is suggesting for any of you dealing with uh, anything chaotic. Okay, remember the six of swords moves on from the five of swords, which is a battle that isn't even worth fighting really because there's no fruit at the end of that battle. It's just a mind versus mind psychological war that there can be no winners of. So I feel like you're leaving the hyenas to bite at each other and you're like, tally-ho, I'm gone, goodbye, take care. And you're taking your valuable self and you're moving to a higher positioning. Look at this, death. <laughs> Transforming yourself. I feel like people aren't going to recognize you. I'm getting this a lot in these goddess readings. Like you're not being what anyone else expects you to be. But you know better. I feel like you've had downloads recently that have taken you to a higher vibrational feeling. So the lens through which you're viewing the world has been cleaned almost. It's almost like you've been refreshed. And maybe you don't even recognize yourself at the moment. Spirit's drawing my eye to these three flies on this jar. And telling me that that is the equivalent of the energy of these three people. So... Let these flies crawl all over the version of you that's already expired, okay? Because it's good. It's good when people think they've got you cornered, that they've got you pegged, that they know exactly who you are. Because then they can't get at the real you and they don't ever expect what's coming next. So they can't sabotage you if they don't expect you to be you. Does that make sense? They can't sabotage a version of you that they don't even know exists because their mind won't allow them to recognize your greatness, it's a blessing. It keeps you protected from them. It keeps them trapped in their world and you free in your world. Show me more, please, spirit. Big transformations for our divine feminines going on at the moment. Big transformations. Five of cups. Yeah, by the time these people realize where you've gone or who you've become, it'll be too late and they'll be empty and drained. Again, the number three. Three empty glasses. <laughs> Spirit, you're so funny. And you're just, uh, you know, you're transforming at a rate they can't keep up with. And yeah, I feel like there's a lot of frustration from these people. 
they're trying to affect your lower chakras you know when you get the adrenaline going through your guts like they're trying to kind of give you that feeling of panic of oh no but just be graceful okay just keep on flowing you can't go wrong when you're in an energy of love and luck just remember this lovely lady's beautiful aura she's so powerful i can feel her connecting in with this reading ananda mai ma you are so, so motherly so motherly the empress just as i'm saying that so i feel like this is representing yeah the divine feminine energies that will join you whenever you choose love whenever you choose to elevate your mind and your soul and your frequency to a higher vibrational platform you have so many non-physical energies joining you especially when people are trying to sabotage your timeline or you know we can't even take them personally they just show us an outside reflection of their own inner world but you've got it covered and again there's this gracious feeling of love look at this recipes for success all new ingredients on her table new thoughts new ingredients a new sense of self knowing that you are the divine feminine because you choose to be that you choose yourself when you choose to be your higher self and no one can take this positioning away from you here there's a real sense of solidification of the throne belonging to you and it's a non-physical throne so no one can steal it or burn it or take it knight of wands energy and he's coming at her right so you may find at this new juncture this new version of yourself may attract a lot of less evolved energies okay a lot of passionate but less evolved energies remember air signs you do rouse the fire okay in people and they can often take your gentility for some sort of prey animal they can often interpret you as if you're prey that they can just come and get you because they don't understand on a higher vibrational level that grace isn't weakness that gentility isn't weakness that good manners aren't a sign of being a prey animal so you may have to watch out for uh new energies trying to suck the life force out of you because you're becoming a much more powerful portal for the non-physical energies to move through so you're going to have a lot of people who want a piece of that who you know want to take up space on your precious timeline i feel like you're going to gracefully dodge them okay but yeah there's this chance that the your essence the air sign essence may rouse a few fires may get the passions burning in people who you're not really interested in yeah seven of pentacles there's a lovely relaxed energy says seven of pentacles you're gracefully planting your garden you're doing it for yourself so that you may taste your own fruits that you know you're realizing that you grow the garden of your life starting with the garden of your mind and that you do have to think about how you're going to benefit from that and then gracefully give from the overflow you could be waiting for something or very patiently working on a project but this is about you investing in the right things you know one of the main meanings of this card this oracle card is that you know that every action you take from an elevated divine feminine or divine level however you define yourself but this is for the goddess energies out there men you're more than welcome to watch these readings of course and you know learn something about the yin realm any action you take divine feminine from a place of elevated dignity grace and bliss is always going to pay off this is long-term investment investments things that may take longer but the fruit's going to be so much better okay this is about you getting out of any 3d situations that you know may trigger the fear in you may trigger the fight in you and again it's just distractions to stop you planting a much more beautiful garden so once you walk away from certain chaos causes certain energies that you know are only going to drag you into 3d storylines then the next wave comes the nights come then you know and they'll try and distract you with passion and flirting or whatever but i feel like you've learned too much you know too much the empress only wants emperors so you're going to very quickly and gracefully uh you know reject or dodge certain advances coming your way two of wands yeah don't let the daily tasks get you down okay like when you've got to do stuff that's like cleaning or whatever 
and it can sort of jolt us out of our divinity a little bit, you know? It can go, oh God, I've still got a hoover and I've still got to do the dishes and I've still got to do all these sort of 3D things, but I try and, you know, make myself grateful when I do have to do some sort of chore and, and put the intention in to really uplift my whole life through doing those things all right and and it's hard for me sometimes because I don't really enjoy it but I'm trying to make myself enjoy it I'm trying to be grateful that I've got an able body and grateful that I've got this power within me to uplift you know my whole environment my home environment my world but I feel like you're planning as well that was just a side note I feel like you're planning on where to put your alchemical ingredients what to conjure up next because you want long-term stability here you want something that's really going to pay off I feel like you're sick of going down dead ends and, you know, feeling like you've been duped or tricked by lower vibrational energies. And now I feel like you're really taking stock. Don't rush yourself with this, okay? You're really going to peruse your options. And, you know, meditation could be really important. Follow those inspirations. You've got secret helpers in non-physical that will help you to guide you in the direction that will be most beneficial to you long term. You might want to like connect with your spirit guides, do a guided meditation, connect with that yin realm in your mind. Our mind is a portal that we can connect with anything through, right? It's the theater of the mind. We can do a higher self guided meditation and meet our higher self. That always helps speed up you know, your progress and, and get you connected to those higher versions of you. You've got a lot of beautiful options. I feel like you just don't want to make the wrong choice. And there we go. We've got the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This is a beautiful one, okay? Look how fresh and clear that glass is. Don't let the past muddy your options, okay? Because look, there may still be a bit of confusion left over residual energies that could be confusing you at the moment i feel like spirit wants you to clean the glass out first which means clear yourself out purify yourself so that you're operating from a place of pure emotion and getting back up to that blissful state really remembering who you truly are wiping all slates clean and allowing yourself to be a completely new person of course, the Ace of Cups can represent new love. But there's nothing like new love for the self to pull in any connections we think we want. New love for the self is what Spirit is recommending here. Holding your positioning as the Empress. Libras, Libras, Libra and Taurus energy. Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like you are very soon going to be going through a portal into a much more elevated positioning and it's because you've held on to who you truly are we've got the fourth house which is about your home environment where you live you might be thinking about starting a business from home and spirit might be suggesting to you maybe you are one of those types of people that could start a business from home you want me to take the top one okay throat chakra okay so something to do with asserting yourself or communicating maybe you've got to clear out your throat chakra I have noticed in this reading my voice has gone a little tight in the reading. So there could be something there you need to look into. You may need to communicate with someone in your household. I'm getting a shared house for one of you. Four of Wands is all about a stable living, living position, you know? Being settled and feeling like you've achieved something, like moving in with somebody who you really love. They're telling me, make your home your palace. Even if you've just got one room in a house, it's a way of manifesting what we truly want, of getting the magic moving, okay? Little trinkets on our altar. You might want to build an altar for some of you. Some of you may be thinking about starting a business from home where you're talking to people, communicating with people, letting people know your ideas. Spirit's saying that your home is your castle. Your home is also your workroom where you can conjure things up from and that you can really... Um, concentrate your energy when you work from home and really be who you truly are when you work from home so that may be relevant for some of you out there show me more spirit one more please for our beautiful air signs one more please Ooh. yeah look home base oh my god home base so this is all about you focus focus on the bottom of the deck this is all about you 
finding a home and that can be a home of the self yeah a home of the higher self but i feel like a lot of you are wondering whether to start a home business or be more home based and yeah spirit's giving you the heads up wow that's incredible we got the fourth house and the home base really fascinating stuff can you clarify i'm gonna clarify be, be more nosy can you clarify the home base i'm feeling like i'm talking to a libra specifically here clarify the home base for our air signs yeah new pathway the full yay so this is a big heads up we've got the sun on the bottom of the deck big heads up to start a new pathway to be your own boss to really harness your own power from somewhere that feels like home to you okay i'm getting views of a bedroom so someone might live at home with their parents and their bedroom is their little home base and let me tell you if i'm speaking to any young ones out there you are powerful okay don't let anyone try and make you feel stupid because you're young you are alchemically so potent and so powerful that a lot of people get jealous when you're in your teenage years or whatever. But have faith in your dreams. Even at a young age, you could be a millionaire by the age of 20, okay? Believe in yourself. You don't need anyone else around you to believe in you. The gods believe in you, okay? Thank you, Air Signs, for being here. I love you loads. Please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again and connect with your energies another time. Lots of love.